Team UK has had an upgrade. Deontay Wilder's trainer went to train with King Kenny and Deji today in a boxing camp. That is right, that Deontay Wilder, the knockout artist of the 21st century, the titan in the ring only to be beaten by Tyson Fury. His trainer went to train with King Kenny and Deji today. This is better than Jeff Mayweather. This is better than Floyd Mayweather. To be trained by literally Deontay Wilder's trainer, to receive literal words from the best in the business is something truly special. And it illustrates they are taking this camp seriously. Both King Kenny and Deji seem to be working together. They seem to be taking it as a duo. They seem to have spent the last couple days together. Deji seemed to arrive at the beta squad house about a week ago. And let's just say from all we've seen, they are both looking in incredible physique. King Kenny is looking like an absolute god. Get up there with the Greeks. And Deji, he, he we haven't seen like proper physique photos yet. But from all the signs that we can see, from all the training videos that he's released, from all the little bits we've got, oh what damn. Deji, like he's putting in the work. These things are starting to add up now. KSI walked into Deji's camp a couple of days ago, hopefully to help him with a little bit of training. Calvin the Saint has been training Deji to with, within an inch of his life. Calvin the Saint, he's going to bring us the glory. All hail Calvin the Saint. We've seen actually quite a lot of new footage and new photos and new videos of Deji today. We've seen him in the recovery chamber. We've seen him do some chirotherapy. He had a very hard day in the gym today, which is obviously a very good sign. King Kenny likewise, because he was also there for training for his fight against FaZe Temper as the co-main event again on March 5th on the Showstar card. But nevertheless, having Deontay Wilder's train and coming to your camp to give you a couple lessons is never a bad thing because he can teach you things that not many people will know. You know, Deontay Wilder, even though he was beaten by Tyson Fury conclusively, and we know that Tyson Fury is better than Deontay Wilder, do not underestimate Deontay Wilder. The power in that man is enough to punch a truck over. So don't underestimate what Deontay Wilder's trainer could do for you if he steps in your camp and he gives you a couple tips and he goes, Deji, your footing's wrong. you got to fix your footing. Just small things like that can really make a difference. Through just simply sharing the ring with them, they've managed to absorb some of their skills. The fight has taken they implement into their own styles and their own careers, which allows them to be more successful. Deji will be at a massive, massive advantage, hopefully, going into his fight on March 5th. Same with King Kenny. King Kenny, it seems like he's putting in some work. He posted an update on his Instagram showing his weight loss from literally him last year to now, and my god, is he looking different. Hopefully, the same thing is with Deji. The small signs we've seen are all good. The small clips that have appeared in videos where the Blood Brothers have filmed have all been very good signs. So it, it's all these things that are, are, are hopefully giving us quite a good image of Deji. It seems like Deji is in a good position. It hasn't been completely smooth sailing with everything he's put out because there are some videos and pieces of media that he's put out that have made us really question, wait, what, what are you doing lying in the middle of a road pretending to block a car? Like, why, why are you doing that? You're in a serious boxing camp. But then there are other bits of media, like the training with Deontay Wilder's trainer, which has got, oh damn, you know, Deji's really taking this seriously. And it does seem like both camps are really doing all they can to try to give themselves the best chance possible on March 5th. Alex Wasabi is hired a sports psychologist, which is some pretty next level stuff from YouTube boxing. It just adds another element of professionalism and adds another element of formality to it. To the point where YouTube boxing really is becoming very much like regular mainstream boxing. We're starting to get some of the political problems, we're starting to get some problems with people starting their own promotions, signing each other up, fights not being able to happen because of these political problems. All of these problems that, which we have in mainstream boxing are now starting to emerge in YouTube boxing as YouTube boxing becomes its own mini version of the main professional boxing world. And this is another example of it. Now, this is not the first time up to Big Bear California to train with Shane Mosley before. And Jake Paul, for example, like uh, Jorge Masvidal before they had their beef. It's not completely like unheard of that YouTube boxers have gone to go and train with the best. You know, for example, Jeff Mayweather and Floyd Mayweather have trained like Logan Paul, KSI before with their spat back in 2018. So it's not completely uncommon. However, it's just another thing that they can take into their camp. Hopefully they learned something from their training session. I imagine they did. They're training with the literal world-class elite trainers of the world. Like literally Deontay Wilder's trainer. And fingers crossed Deji and King Kenny can take some of that stuff and bring it into their fight. So this is a good sign, a good sign of media from Deji. It's been a pretty mixed bag, I'd say. We've had some stuff which has made us less confident, and we've also had some stuff which has made us more confident. Deji's recent video, for example, the one of, uh, before the Dunya video, gave us a lot of confidence because it, it was a very unedited video. It did not have a lot of cuts like, like the first video. There was not a lot there that really differentiated it from reality. It felt more like a vlog than it did like a video. We got to have a proper, pure insight into what Deji's camp was like, and that gave us more 
more confidence, but then some of the previous stuff gave us a little less confidence. So, I don't know, it's a pretty mixed bag, but this is certainly a good day in Deji's camp. At KSI trained with him a couple of days ago. He, he's been at the chirotherapy recovery today as well. So, it's it, this is a good day. It's been a good day in the Deji boxing camp leading up to March 5th. We've got just over, a, t a tad over a month to go until the fight. Subscribe for, for more content. Join the damn Discord if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next one. He drops down, he drops that jab below. Oh, out, 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 like a light. Out, like a light, hey, like a light, hey.